land, and welcome back to the Chaos Asylum. I am your host, the Chosen One, Lee Wade, aka the White Wolf. And today is another monthly try treats with Kitty. Ah, she's trying to hike with the box. Kitty. And today it is from. Oh, you gotta put. It's it's pretty heavy today, guys. Like it's a good weight distribution to it. Even though I already have the papers ready, as always. She loves getting this stuff prepared. From Poland. Oh. Oh. I kind of missed the camera. But... Uh, uh, it's, it's kind of funny. We're not. Uh, th no, we're not talking about this kind of Poland. But there is a place near us named Poland, maybe forty-five minutes away from where we are, but not that Poland. Just threw it out there. As always, here is the back of it. So if you guys want to read. Pause. Read. Let's know comes. Oh, there's another thing, like always. <laughs> As always, you get one of their fishes, which Ooh. is probably always like a famous dish or something. And explore, which is facts about the place. As well as always, the list of treats. Oh. And oh, something new. On the back of it is, I will put this closer, and hopefully it's not too dim, but if you are like me and not the account holder of the Tri Treats in general, and you can't enter that monthly giveaway that's made for the Tri Treat accounts, you can enter this giveaway that is kind of dark. Basically, if you go on their Facebook and say you're like me and you try with someone you know, you can say what treat you like the most, you can tag a friend, and at the end of the month they will choose one person to get a never before seen exclusive premium box with premium treats. As well as we got two exclusive treats this month for being uh, part of the Tri Treats family. I'm sorry, <laughs> kind of got distracted by a uh, Hotel Transylvania that's playing in the background. Okay. And in past videos, depending on how long you've been watching, yes. you will obviously recognize these treats. I don't have the treat list because I keep them in my desk. Yes. So I can look on Amazon. So Mind you, can... you can find all these, almost all these treats on Amazon. Yep. So two new treats. Well, we've had these, but we've done it before. But this one and this one. Kitty, obviously, is not gonna try. I will. See, it's this. Okay. Mind you, if the quality is a little lower than usual, his iPhone needs to be fixed. Yeah, I have, I'm getting it fixed right now, so I'm using my shitty phone. So sorry about the shitty quality. It'll it'll be like a slight difference of quality. Yeah. I mean, if you on my YouTube when I watch my videos myself to see if you know they upload it correctly, it'll be blurry as hell. But I asked my friend; she said they're just fine. Hmm. Maybe it's just the phone quality. <laughs> All right. Now those are two treats that were the the uh, two what? Oh my bad. Box. Uh, the two mystery treats, basically. <clears throat> Pardon me. They and are now, not listed on yeah. here, so that's why I couldn't read them all. So that's why we tried those first, and now we're going to go with what's on the list. You just made the list. <laughs> Ooh, hello. I read this as a sage, a sage strawberry, and it's not how you open it. Yes. <laughs> right, Wed Love ra Raspberry. Ooh. Biscuits with jelly and a coating of chocolate. Ooh. One of Poland's most famous confectionery companies and biscuits with jelly and chocolate are one of their staples. Also, if it's a little darker than usual, not just because of foam, it's nighttime out. Yeah, it's like 8.30. Just about. And stormy. Yeah. And if you're wondering why I'm all dressed like, like I look like I escaped from an insane asylum or I look like the guard from there, just go back in karate class. Oh, wow. 
So I'm going to assume that this part's where the jelly is. It's really squishy. Mm -hmm. And it has E. Weddle, what I don't know how to really pronounce that name, on the front of it, which is who they're made by. Yes. I will assume it's raspberry flavor. So we'll see if her, she likes it. If not, then I'll just wait. And if you can tell. No. There's the oh, there we go. Yep. Up a little bit. It's right. a little right. glossy. Mm. But it's red. It's kind of sour. I mean, it tastes. It's okay to a certain extent, it's just kind of sour. Mm -hmm. Then again, it is jelly. Mm, that's good though. <laughs> Bo! 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 I probably should have just cut my hair in a ponytail. I'm getting irritated with my braids. I gotta fix them. That's why. Next! Yeah, she uh, dyed her hair and the braided. And I saw still have shoes. I am definitely going to butcher this name, so I'm just gonna keep it as Famil. Famil. Because it's something. There we go. It's one big thing that's like broke in the middle. It's probably why it was literally touch it. It's one big wafer and it broke in the middle when I picked it Isn't up. Isn't it funny that kind of looks like chicken? I want some chicken. Alright, oh my god. The cream wafers chicken. It's not chicken flavored, but I'm just saying. Crispy and thick wafers with delicious flavored cream. They are produced by Famil, one of the most leading Polish brands for wafer biscuits. Obviously, I'm not saying the full name. I don't know how to pronounce it. And, yeah. Oh, wow, they feel like one big thing, but they're actually not. So this is what they look like. I usually just eat chocolate flavored or strawberry flavored, which if you've seen me in the first video we've done, I'm not a fan of strawberry flavored, but I will eat strawberry flavored flavors. Well, don't you eat actual strawberries? Huh? Don't you actually eat the fruit strawberry? I mean, so, I mean that's raspberry, my bad. I eat raspberries and strawberries, okay. as well as purple grapes, and sometimes apples. And a pear tree in a pear tree. Oh, well, you're digging those, are we? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll get me one. I like wafers. I mean, I like I like to wait to see if what her reaction is, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't see me grab one, because if she don't, I'll just turn it around and finish it off. Yeah. I mean, you ever had the chocolate ones? They're like these, but they're chocolate. No, I have. Okay. I mean. To me, they don't really have that much of a taste. Mm -mm. It's like they're lacking a vanilla or any type of flavor in general. But if you like wafers, you can't really be that picky with them because sometimes, you know. You see me looking over that way. There's a cat. His name is Babs. Before the video started, he ran upstairs. Poor guy. And jumped on the table we're on now. Tried jumping on the table where the box was and slid across the thing for God. And while we were setting up, he jumped up here where the phone is and actually turned off the mm -hmm. camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Actually, I'm getting more of a peanut butter taste now. Did you get a taste at all? I don't know if it's just me with the whole peanut butter taste. Hmm. Like, I'm, I'm only in the middle half. I got no, a peanut butter. Yeah. Kind of got that, like, uh, creamy. I guess it just like, ta it takes a little while for it to settle. What, boys? I mean, it's the first time I've had a peanut butter wafer if it's really supposed to taste like it. Yeah. I'm looking at this like it's in English. It's not. No? No, it's in Polish. I really expected this thing to be English. Then again, I guess it's my lack of sleep. 
What? How much sleep did you get? I didn't go to sleep until 3 in the morning and got up by 12.30ish. I like how we like talk during the video while we're recording, doing a tragedy video, and we just randomly ask it. You'll get that once in a while in our little videos. That's what makes ours so unique. We don't cut it out. Editing stuff out is just a little... I mean, I can understand you have to edit certain parts out because of how YouTube's standard is, but otherwise, editing just you talking about your day or something. Yeah. So. And are we splitting these? Yeah. That's what I figured. Oh, it's bad. It's like, what? 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 We'll have to show you Babs after, before the video ends. He's a cute little, he's not little, he's a cute. And, sorry that I'm still munching. It's just, my, I can't really take peanut butter too well because I used to eat it a lot as a kid. So my stomach kind of rejects it, so I have to eat. By the spoonful when she was a kid. I, yeah, I'm not kidding. She would get a big jar of peanut butter. Get a cup, up. like a plastic cup about Dips. this big. Yeah, do, do that, and then, like, before she goes into this cup, to go boom. <laughs> I was a big peanut butter eater, oh, yeah. and now it... And ketchup. You had to have ketchup on everything. I still eat it on almost ever. Okay. Minus certain things. I eat it on fries, anything potato, and anything meat. Not like everyday normal ice cream or chips, no. No. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'll be mad too, man. You killed my woman like that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You did that cinema movie. Caramel break. Ooh. A smooth, rich milk chocolate with creamy flavor. For a burst of flavor, you could chew on it or have the chocolate and cream melt in your mouth. Perfect for a treat to go to enjoy on the go. It is salted caramel. Caramel break. It's salted caramel. Do you not have nothing to eat on your lunch break? Oh, don't worry. Gee. Pull it out and you'll have caramel on your break. I don't know. It's weird. Could be, it's not worse than the one that I made in the one video. <laughs> <laughs> you want some poly G? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. It's salted caramel. So. Oh, and wow. it melted. It melted upon being shit. And now we're gonna need some. And yes, I'm the weirdo who keeps this in her room. Oh. Oh, it's a cake. <laughs> yeah, cake. It I'm not gonna try it, but. Oh. I just thought it'd be easier to eat it with something. Yeah, so since I have all white on. What it looks like. It really does look like a piece of crap. Oh, great. Now, in the comments below, they're like, Ew, Kitty didn't need a white of Lee Wyatt, a.k.a. the chosen one. A.k.a. the white do oof, ate poop. <laughs> wow. Well, what? On this one, over there, or to anybody who can speak Polish, which you guys will see towards the end because it's hard candy. They're having a more or less a giveaway. Ooh. So to all the people who can speak Polish, that walk, well, speak dual languages, you'll be able to read that better than us. I plan to take them out for Saturday though. 
my braids. Yeah. Just take them out fully for seven. All right. And oh. I'll get a fringe. How's that why you do it? To get a fringe? I I do it to also help my hair grow. And if I don't want to keep dealing with having it down a lot, but I also get like this cool looking fringe with a poof. So it gives me something that a actual hairstylist can't give me. All right. We're gonna just call this Paul because I don't wanna. I don't, I don't know. If it's Paul. Paul Lick. Paul Lick. Paul Lick. Sounds like you're telling a. Yeah, I'm not finishing that sentence. Anyways. <laughs> they want me to lick a pole. That's what you got. That. That's what you got from that. Nah. I'm not really gonna well, say what I got from that, but yeah. Pole lick. Jesus Christ. Oh wait, oh shit, I said that out loud. Oh shit, leave it in the comments you below. Screeched it. I screeched it, leave it in the comments below. I, I feel bad for you earbud users. Uh, or headphone in general. Yes, this might be another chocolate, so yay. It is. Lovely. As well as by E. Weddle. I'm probably saying it wrong, but... A unique candy bar consisting of an outer layer of rich chocolate surrounding an inner layer of creamy filling. The chocolate and cream complement each other wonderfully. <clears throat> and just like what you could do with a Hershey bar or anything else, you can break it. So. Wow, that was easy. It's That's... because it's kind of melted. So here, <laughs> the camera's over this one. There's the inside of the filling. It is a darker chocolate looking filling, but it, I assume it's not chocolate. Mmm, you want this? Give me it. Um, that's by far. It tastes like. Interesting. You know, I've never done this before, but you don't want it, I don't want it. We'll I'll just see if my friend wants it. He can try it. It tastes like chalk. Like pure chalk. No? Am I wrong? But it to me, it, it doesn't taste like chalk. I don't know how to describe it. It's not a chalk taste. It tastes more like a chocolate mixed in with a really weird like, taste. It's like they use powdered milk or something. Yeah. There we go. That's what I was thinking. Sorry. Powdered milk. That's what it tastes. It tastes like they got all the ingredients and they ran out of regular milk and they used powdered milk instead. Now, mind you, uh -uh. I'm not handing it off to my friend because we hate it. It's just usually something that I don't like, other people like, and... Oh. He's one of those people where hey. if you don't like it, he might like it. Yeah. Hey, okay, now I know why you got a chalk taste because it's sitting right here on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, see? So it's like chalk meets like powdered milk and it's not a good combo. Um, Yeah, and we, after the camera goes off too, ladies and gentlemen, we actually share with my, my brother downstairs. Uh, when he's actually awake. Yeah, and stuff like that. He tries them out too, so yeah. <clears throat> And when my friend's around, yep. so if you ever see us throwing candy or something mm -hmm. off screen, it's he's up here he's with a, us. He's always over there going, mmm. -hmm. <laughs> he has fun yeah. trying them. Have you ever heard of a prince called Paula? No, I've never heard of a prince called Paula. <laughs> Look. <laughs> you made me do that. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought you were joking around, but it's called Prince Paula. <laughs> It might be said differently in Polish, but... Prince Polo? Chocolate wafers with four <laughs> layers, enrobed in a coat of milk chocolate. Since the introduction of Prince Polo wafers in 1955, they have been Poland's best-selling candy. Well, obviously, because this is chocolate, I'm definitely trying it. Everybody who's been here so far has known that I love chocolate. This will probably be the first time I hated chocolate. We need another, uh... Gee. 
But oh. it, yes, it's melted. That's the inside of the wafer. I was gonna be like, what is that? This in the wafer. This kind of reminds me of the way it's shaped and everything. It kind of reminds me of like a. It's uh, just one whole stick of wafer. Yeah. It reminds me of like a nutty buddy. If anybody knows what that is, you're old enough to like, you know. Yeah. Oh God. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to know what it smells like. I usually don't try to smell things before I Are eat Are you even going to try it or no? Yeah. I'm going to take the smallest piece I can break off. It's just I don't want to get sticky. It's really chocolatey. But I feel like the more I'm going to eat it, I'm probably going to hate it. It's just from eating a lot. Oh, it's actually really chocolatey. Prince Pula. I don't know. You had a mat on your nose. Uh, uh, whatever I said before. Polo. Polo. Marco! Polo. I'll eat it tomorrow. I'll hate it. You didn't like it. It's, it's okay. And I have somebody out there though too. I could kind of tell. If I don't like something. It's really good. So if I make a weird face. Yeah. I assume the aftertaste got to you. Yeah, it's okay once you bite into it, but the aftertaste is just. But you know what? You can. I'll be generous, and I can, I'll give this to your. Maybe your friend will like Prince Poo Polo oh. better than we did. Sorry if there's actually a guy out there named Prince Poo Polo. Hi. I, I, I don't fucking know. Next. <laughs> now we're into the candy. Ooh. Okay. So this is like the most softest, kind of the most softest one. The rest of those are literally hard candy. And we're gonna have. This is the only one. Delphina. Delphina. That's one of those, like, mm. if you see on Excuse jewelry. Me. Yeah. The women. Oh. I don't know what, I forget what the joy is Delphina. Called. And here comes Babs. Babs, you gotta he go that way, buddy. He might make his daily debut. And oh, 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 here, here he is. You might see some hairy, hairy butt and very hairy. Hello? <laughs> ba Babs, my dude, you gotta move. Hey, hello? <laughs> I'm keeping that in there because that's hilarious. I don't know if you've seen some furry. Oh. Anyways. Yeah. If you did, I apologize. <laughs> there went Delphina. Dang, I dropped it. Delphina. Delphina are elegant and individually wrapped chocolates decorated with white chocolates. Creamy Ooh. and silky with a rich chocolate taste, Delphina is delicious and will melt in your mouth. Pretty sure the only reason some of these melted was because it was really hot today before the storm oh, yeah. hit. Before the storm hit, it was like, uh... It was in almost the 80s, but it typically... It was, felt more. You know, uh, with us, we, uh, we, we were outside and uh, it's more of like, ooh, and uh, we uh, we have the phones out and they'll tell you it's 88 but it, it feels like. It smells just like that. You smell that? Whatever they add to the chocolate is obviously a unique taste because I've never tasted it in I need a chocolate from here or where we've so far tried. Yeah. But it has the same picture of the lady as it does on the front. Obviously, it's a little melted. Yeah. So I'm just going to take a small piece. I'm probably going to get very sticky. Oh, wow. And that's what's on the inside. Some cream, which I currently have helping this stick to my finger. Yeah, this is it's the same thing as Prince Polo. Prince Polo and uh... I think they... They might add... I might be wrong because I can't read the ingredients. They're not in English. But it... It tastes like they add a... Uh, like a dragon fruit concentrate or something. Because it's a unique taste. It's not... To me, it's not the best, but oh, 
Okay. I wonder if those were by the same people. No, they weren't. Well, they managed to keep the same face. Alright. I'm gonna call it rack because I'm definitely not able to get the rest of that. So I'm going with rack. Well, I can't pronounce the rest of it, so. Rack! <laughs> it's actually that word that I can't pronounce. Why well, we're calling it rack. It actually means lobster tail in Polish. Alright, they're handmade candies, which are candies made up of flaky, crispy peanuts that are surrounded by a crunchy caramel candy shell. The name rack. Sorry to all those who know how to actually pronounce the name. Uh, I only speak English and I'm horrible at it. Is inspired by the texture of this candy. So that means that it's only call it lobster tail because the texture is like a lobster tail, but it's not made of it. As confusing as that sentence was. Okay, uh, it's a hard candy. It comes individually wrapped. And it actually has a lobster on the package. Really? Aww, it's cute. It's a crawdad. <laughs> crawdad. That's sad. I have never, in the history of our sport of <laughs> tri treats, never have I ever disliked three candies in a row in the same box. I can't say that for me, but then again, I guess the least I've, I believe, the least I've never, I ever liked something was either one or none. I will assume that this means it is recyclable, because it has that on it. Um, I might be wrong. You could tell me otherwise in the comments, but if this little symbol right here resembles the recycling thing that we would see here, so I will assume that this is recyclable. So if that, what I'm saying is true, if you like the candy and you finish it, you can recycle this bag. Cool. Yes, that I might be wrong. You had land chops, it's the same thing. Let's move it! I like how they look at him like, what is that thing? <laughs> That's me when I look at people in general. Yep, I can verify that. Are you looking for this? No, no uh, for the next one. Ow. Oh, yeah, him. I don't know what to really say. Like, uh, 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 it's not lobster. But obviously, it's not supposed to taste lobster. What's it supposed to taste like? It's just the name of it is called lobster tail because of how the candy's made. Because of it being the texture. It's supposed to be. It's made up of a flaky, crispy peanut center surrounded by a crunchy caramel candy shell. It's only, the name means lobster tail because of the texture. Mm -hmm. Does it taste crispy peanut and crunchy caramel? Well, mixture. Mm. <laughs> All right, what are we doing next? I don't know. When I first seen these, I thought they were too cute to eat, but I've had the personal pan pizza hut where it has just small pizza slices. I thought they were too cute to eat, but I still ate them. They never bought me that small one again because I was still hungry after. So we're going with these once I figure out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Coop. 
Kokerki? I sound like I just made up a bird's name. So I'm assuming this is going to be Kukerki, which sounds like a bird that I made up. Kaka, kaka. Sounds like a weird bird, but oh well. Uniquely colored and a intricately designed citrus caramel candies. These candies come in a variant of designs and are unique hallmark of Polish candy tradition. <laughs> All right, continue. I am going to go with, I don't know really. Ooh, cherry. <clears throat> Wait, what, did they all carry on? No, they each have different designs. Like this one has a heart, this one has a gray. Ah, this one has a, you know what, just show them the different designs. Cause we can put that back in the back later. Or strawberry to be honest because there's two variants of it so they each have different designs most of them are duplicated so this one is a heart that one's a cherry this one is either a strawberry or thing of grapes same with that one I can't tell um I will assume this is a lemon an orange just because I'm going based on the outside, I might be wrong. That's a apple. That's an apple. This is a lime. And I don't know what that is. But they're all citrus flavored. Okay, well I guess I'll go with the... I'll go with the lime. Because it might actually be lime. And if you don't know me, I like lime. I have lemon lime flavored drinks and candies, so hopefully I'm right. I don't know, it does have a smell, but this is they look a little bit better outside the bag than they do in it. Score! <laughs> We're splitting these. Yep. However, you're not getting the other lime. got rejected, man. I wonder what this one will be. She's all like, but you're not getting the other line that I just ate. Hey. Uh, candy. I wonder what this one will be. It's a heart. I think you stuck on them for a little while. They start to loosen up. They're not hard to them. <laughs> Man. Okay. We're down to our last two. Last two. my mouth is watering. Wow, 33 minutes. Right. Well, we did have more than usual. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I need to fuck it too. And Great. it's storming again. It's raining. Great. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man got hit with a pan. <laughs> yes, I know. It doesn't go that way. Oh, well. Zozo. Oh. And there it went. And if you're able to read Polish over here, I will assume they are having oh. a PS4 giveaway. It's a literal sticker, so. I will assume it's a PS4 giveaway because, you know, it's there, but I might be wrong. 
Orange and lemon flavored candy. The candy is hard in texture and delightfully sweet in taste. As you bite into this candy, you will be surprised to find that it has a fizzy center. <laughs> so. Well, it's orange and there's orange and then there's lemon. As far as I could tell, none of them show. Ah, oh, never mind. The difference between the orange and the lemon. Orange, lemon. Should we try both? Like you try lemon, I try orange. Something. I mean, I'm typically not in lemon to lemon flavored. So, they're obviously hard. Oh, okay, so that's also the difference. That says citrus, this actually says orange in English. What, do you like citrus? No, it's lemon. I'm not, I'm a fan of putting a slice of lemon into my pop, but I just don't really like eating lemon. So it does have a powder over it, possibly to keep it good. You can't see it, obviously. Oh, beware, it does have a fizzy center. I know I swept up here, but that's still not good. Round two. I might as well drop this one. Orange. It's actually kind of orangey. There's a hole in the fizz is seeping out and touching my tongue. One last one to try. Give me a minute. I'm still on mine. Oh my god, you can actually see it. So, here's the fizz. <laughs> I didn't expect to be able to show it. I'm obviously sticky now. But it was worth it. Shit. Well, that's not like a bad. Ooh, that hits you if you bite right into it. Or if me, because it had a hole on one end and your saliva helps work on it, it hit my tongue real quick. I'm still working on mine. Ugh. I clearly don't want to bite into it. I'm gonna regret it. You see what I'm talking about when you hit it? It's like... Oh, my tongue. Yeah. When it hits your tongue, think of Pop Rocks just yeah. a little bit on the sour side. Oh, no, yeah. And more... At least to my tongue, a little more hurtful because of the rush. That's the whole I know I'm biting to because it's going to be stuck in my teeth. No way. Huh? Why did you tell me to wait? I wanted to see your reaction. I thought maybe. Okay, last thing. Okay, last thing, guys. Sorry for the video being for so long.
It is called Landrinim. I both. I probably said it wrong. Fruit flavored hard textual texture. Caramel candies, or as Dopana puts it, fruit power enclosed in a small package. Enjoy these colorful candies and pick your favorite out of the bunch. These are not wrapped individually. They are actually in a, in a bag. So I will assume I know what the flavors are. So I'm going to grab an orange one. There's a white one. It might be a dragon fruit. So here's the orange one. Here's a white one. We're assuming this is dragon fruit. So Unless it's a mystery flavor because, you know, none of these packages have English on them. And without the powder, it is just a normal glazed hard candy. And yes, I'm a weirdo who licked the powder off. I'd laugh to say, BOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOOO